Hello everyone. In this lecture, let's try to configure our ADC module of our Arduino for fetching analog signals. Let's get started. So our ADC module that is available in our Atmega328 microcontroller of Arduino is of 10 bit resolution. So it will be having values of 0 to 2 to the power 10 that is 1024. And the steps for configuring this ADC module is this one. So we are just going to implement all the steps. And the first step is we just want to enable the global interrupt enable bit. We are just going to fetch the analog values using the interrupt method. So I am enabling this bit. As I said in the previous lecture, we will be calling this SCI function for enabling the global interrupt enable bit of our microcontroller at Mega328. And the next step is we just want to set the reference voltage to 0. That is we are not going to use the reference voltage pin of our microcontroller. So I am disabling the reference voltage pin. That can be done by go to the register description of the analog to digital conversion. And you can see in this AD max register these two bits REF S1 and REF S0 defines the reference voltage pins. So if I am clearing these two pins, internal VREF will be turned off. If I am giving the value 0, 1 to these two bits, AVCC with external capacitor will be selected. If I provide the value 1, 0, these bits will be reserved. And if I give the value of 1, 1, internal 1.1 volt voltage reference will be taken as the reference voltage. So I am clearing these two bits in the ADMUX register. So using this I am selecting no internal reference voltage and the next step is we just want to set the data alignment in data register. So as I said we are having a 10 bit ADC so the value of the ADC will be from 0 to 1023 but our microcontroller is a 8 bit microcontroller so for storing that 10 bit value our microcontroller is having two 8 bit registers that is ADCH and ADCL. So, if I provide the value of 0 to ADLR bit, then the write justification is selected that is, among the 10 bit value of the ADC, LSB 8 bits will be available in the ADCL and the MSP 2 bits will be available in the LSB of ADCH. So, this will be the data arrangement in these two registers if the ADLR bit is set to 0. And if I give the value of 1 to ADLAR register, then left justification is selected. That is, LSB 2 bits of 10 bit value will be available in the MSP 2 bits of ADCL register and MSP 8 bits of 10 bit ADC value will be provided in the ADCH register. So if you are selecting the left justification by giving a 1 to this bit, then you just want to right shift the value by 6 times before loading this data to any private variable. So I am selecting the right justification by giving a 0 to ADLAR bit. So you can see this ADLAR bit is also available in the ADMAX register. So I am clearing that. right justification alignment is selected. Then after that we just want to enable the ADC and we want to set the prescaler for the ADC. So in this step we are just going to see the ADC SRA register which is nothing but ADC control and status register A. So in this register we just want to enable several bits that is we just want to enable this ADEN which is the ADC enable bit which will enable the ADC module of our microcontroller and then we just want to enable the 
ADIE, which is the ADC interrupt enable bit. So for enabling the ADC interrupt, we just want to set this bit. So we are going to use the interrupt. So I am enabling this bit also. After that, we just want to enable this A date, which is nothing but ADC auto trigger enable. So for triggering the ADC conversion automatically, we just want to set this bit. So I am enabling this bit also in this register and using these three bits ADP S22, ADP S0, we are setting the prescaler for the ADC conversion. So I want the prescaler to be 16. So I am setting the ADP S2 and I am clearing the ADP S1 and S0. So the ADC conversion will be of 1 megahertz, which is nothing but our system clock is 16 megahertz. So 16 megahertz divided by 16 will give me 1 megahertz as the ADC conversion clock. So I am just going to set ADEN, ADIE, ADP S2 and I am just going to clear ADP S1 and ADP S0 and also I will be setting ADET. ADC SRA or equal to ADEM R of 1 let shift of ADIE R of 1 let shift of ADET R of 1 let shift of ADP S2 and I will clear the And I will clear the ADP S0 and S1. So this will enable the ADC and set to the prescaler to be 16. So the clock of ADC will be equal to 16 megahertz system clock divided by 16 which is nothing but 1 megahertz so 1 megahertz is the ADC conversion clock of our microcontroller and the next step is we just want to start the conversion for starting the conversion we just want to set this bit ADSC from the ADC SR register so this ADSC is nothing but ADC start conversion bit for starting the conversion we just want to set that bit ADC SRA or equal to 1 left shift of ADSC. So this will start the ADC conversion and the next step is we just forgot one step that is we just want to select the channel for conversion. You can see this is the pinout of Atmega328 in this you can find there are 6 ADC channels analog input 0 to analog input 5 in our Arduino they are nothing but PC0 to PC5 that is ADC0 to ADC5 so among this channel you can choose any of the channel for converting the analog signals into digital signals for selecting any of that channel you are just going to use this MUX3 to MUX0 bits in the AD MUX register so these LSB4 bits are used for selecting any of the ADC channels. In this table, if you give 0000, 0000 to these 4 bits, ADC0 will be selected. And if I give 0001 to these 4 bits, ADC1 will be selected. Likewise, you can select any channels from ADC0 to ADC5 using these 4 bits. So I am just going to select the ADC0 by giving a value of 0000 to these 4 bits. So I am going to the AD MUX and I will give a value of 0 to all the MUX bits. And we are selecting ADC 0 channel by doing this step. So you can see ADC 0 is nothing but PC 0 
that is analog input 0 of Arduino. And nextly, we just want to implement the ISR function. So the ISR function for Arduino is ISR of ADC underscore vect. So this is the ISR function and inside this ISR function, you can write your own user defined code. And whenever the ADC conversion is complete in your microcontroller, this ISR function will be called automatically by the processor. So that's all about the configuration of ADC module for the channel of ADC 0 with the ADC clock of 1 MHz without internal reference voltage and we will see the programming in the upcoming lecture. Thanks for watching.